That scene in the in Avengers when Black Panther says it's on the way, when when Bucky says where's the fight, yep. it's on the way, and here it is. Joseph Hawes gets the action going, moves over Sebastian Covado. Covado with a feint to start things off. He's feinting with the feet, feinting with the hand. Mixing up and goes to a low kick, and then a teep. Good teep. I think so he's, he's going to need to work behind that teep and jab. Yep. Got some good leg kicks. The teep can very much dissuade a wrestler from coming in. Yeah, it's good. Well-timed teep knocks him back and then uh, feints the teep to land the low kick. Beautiful, beautiful kick combinations and setups from Quevedo so far. Nice feints from Quevedo. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's getting the read, and Musso is uh, allowing Quevedo to take the initiative. And there's a hard overhand and a good sprawl from Quevedo, but it's not quite good enough. Even a good sprawl the, against the, a guy like this. The cage maybe saved him this there. This could be the equalizer, yeah. I mean, you know, oh, oh my what a goodness. beautiful transition to a back body lock for Moo. That is just one of those things that you just do. Uh, yeah, I mean, from wrestling, you get under the hips, you reverse. He went between his here. legs. Yeah, and now he's really abusing the legs here. He's really messing with the base, creating the feeling of Kazushi. Big slam from Musso. Quevedo right back up to his feet. That's the way you got to do it. You can't let him get the hooks in. You can't let him change yeah, the you, body lock. You got to just try to get as, up as fast as, as you soon, can. As soon as... Oh, and this time, Moose sends him with even more authority. But now, Sebastian Quevedo's on the two-on-one. He's inside the body lock. He can make this work. If he can break Musso's hands apart. He doesn't really need to break the hands apart because if Moose tries to take him down, unless he does a great... Oh, now the, the hands are open, though. Now it's all Moose. He's got to get back to that two-on-one and try to threaten an attack. That's the only thing that's going to dissuade Moo. And now you see Moo's not rushing. Moo knows his hand is in trouble. He's got to hold this body lock. If he tries to open it, he could get reversed. Oh, what? No, no. Musso on the spot oh. body lock for the last little bit. Quivera and we looking see, for a knee bar. Oh, he's looking for a Sulaf stretch knee bar. Oh, he's, in, he's settling back into the Vinny lock. He's in Vinny Mount right here. Oh, some blind hammer fists. Oh, you can't hold on to the cage there, even if you're the top guy. It's not just for the bottom guy. That rule applies to everybody all the time. And now, Moose doing a great job of shrimping his hip back. You can just see, a, oh, I think there's hard a little- hammer fist from Covado. Oh, there's a little and unfamiliarity it, from Covado in the leg lock. He, he settles the wrong direction instead of straight back on, over the neck. Musso all over him with hammer fists. Yeah, Moose, hard hammer Moose fists. Moose got to make him pay. Heavy leather and Covado. Oh, but look, we know what's happened. We know what's good there's right here, right? Bar. We know covado has got a decent arm bar, but Musso Moose explodes out and he finds himself right back in Covado's guard throwing punches. Yeah, Musso is not settling at any moment with these punches wow. and transitions. Wow, Covado's got such a great high guard for MMA. Uh, really prioritizes controlling posture and getting his hands over the lats. He's going to keep Mu in a, in a position where he must grapple. We see that Mu wants to strike. Sebastian's going to entangle him and take the back here, maybe? No, it's a stack pass for Mu. Oh, a hard right hand to end the round. Wow, great back and forth round, and Covado did really good. Musso was leaking some sort of fluid. I don't it even want to ask. It wasn't blood. That's that tattoo juice. It was, like, it was like drool or snot or something. Maybe a little congested? Maybe drool from the mouth guard, his mouth being open. Mm. Wow, Musso, at each of those transitions, throw a strike, move, 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 throw a strike, move, 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 throw a strike. And then when Quevedo was taking the initiative in the grappling exchange, he was also doing the same. Those boys were hitting each other the whole time they were jujitsuing each other. Yeah. It's almost like those dudes train MMA. They, they're, they're mixed mixed martial arts. Not yeah, and, and both of these guys, I think, are great ambassadors and examples of what it means to be a mixed martial artist. Yep. They come from backgrounds where they do have that specialization. They come from backgrounds where they have a skill set. They've only added to it. They've only done things to improve their natural gifts and round out their skill sets as martial artists. And Moo's a great example. He comes in with this wrestling background, but we can see that his priority is damage. His intention is to strike yeah. on, the on the feet and yeah. on the ground. And when you have the better wrestling, you can often take, you can often Good. dictate, oh, that, that check was troublesome. Good low kick from Quevedo. Quevedo has gotten a lot of reactions with the feints. Yeah. I, th I think Quevedo has a, a significant advantage in the striking exchanges, but he's, he has to temper what he wants to do because of the threat. Ugh, oh, ill-advised. The threat of the takedown from Musso. Sebastian is getting a lot of 
Good big, defense from Sebastian, and Sebastian Quevedo shoots. It's gonna be hard to finish on a guy like that, but what But maybe he doesn't get, need it. Yeah, exactly, you can get to this, which is the equalizer, right? Like, you can be, a, like I said before, a good wrestler, but ha have you done the, the reps, the wall work? And I think Moo has, he's got a good wrestling wall work he, teacher he with just, Juwan Owens. He just tried to muscle, this little ball of muscle, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, and we saw a very solid defense there, and a knee to the body from Sebastian, which I think is really good. Yeah, he's 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 and pretty sharp with those knees. His head position is good. Having, he's having success with slowing Moo down. When yep. Moo is forced to fight at a pace he doesn't like, it looks like he's like on the back foot, for instance. Like he's a little uncomfortable. Oh, on the back, Sebastian Quevedo. Oh, Quevedo working his way around to the back. Look for the body triangle. He's good. He's body good triangle. Here. Oh, he's oh, back no. in the full guard. Moo does a great job of centering his hips, and that's wrestling 101. You just got to have the hip height and the head height. But Musso's in danger of the arm bar again. He always is because Sebastian's got a, such a, a good high guard. He doesn't mess around Transitions or waste time. Transitions to a triangle. He doesn't waste time that's with right. anything else. That oh, is good. that is in tight. That is good. He needs to be looking up. Moo is looking down. And he look needs at to Quevedo. have posture. He needs to have posture. Look at Quevedo taking his time. And now we see him looking up he's trying to oh he's trying to cut out i think as strong as you are you gotta slam you're the strong you're way stronger yeah oh and he's tapping, he's tapping. sebastian Cavedo has tapped muso in the second round with a tight tight triangle underdog what team rock and the and the protege the project the kid they brought up from scratch has defeated what i think is the most amateur MMA prospect they had in the area. Russo is absolutely catatonic. Sebastian Quevedo has erased. Look how he took his time. He has erased the memory of the Deuce Carter knockout. Look how he took his time. He had to finish up that triangle. Yeah. He, he, he cinched it up. First of all, he baited him with the trap of the arm bar. Moo knew the armbar was coming, made a big priority, and made a big show of getting his arm out without going. It's always the rule, the golden rule of DC. Daniel Cormier says both arms in or both arms out. Those even, are, that's the only way you can operate. Even I know that. And in the All first right. round, Warriors. In the first round, Moo hit a great cage. stack pass, which is how you counter. You go both arms out, and then you just stack pass and turn the guy. But he he wanted to turn it into your winner by triangle submission, fighting out of the blue corner. It's Sebastian Quevedo. Incredible yeah. strategy. Incredible strategy from Sebastian Quevedo. And the improvements in the striking made the difference. The feints made the difference. I, the teeps made the difference. I was so surprised at the amount of space and respect that Musso gave Sebastian Quevedo in those yeah. striking exchanges. Yeah, it was from the first teep on. Yeah. Because Mu was coming forward. He was ready to go. And then he got teeps. And it was yeah. like, oh, I need to slow down and exchange with this guy. Um, yeah, I do agree that he he kind of started showing the respect before he really got hit really hard. What that we know, the the teep can hurt. The teep can be it can be very hard to tell how hard how much it would have hurt. One hundred percent. Because the, the difference between a teep that barely can, touches you and a teep that kills you is millimeters. And it can matter how much you're moving forward, how they're stepping, right. how they're moving. You know. Visibly, they look the same. Yeah. A touch and a kill shot with that teep kick look the same to the to the onlookers.